Good evening everyone. How are we doing? I hope you guys had a blessed day. I, I certainly did. Sarah and I are truly blessed and we need to thank God for that. Um, no mowing footage today. This is just basically a talking video and the reason I'm doing it. Okay, I'm going to set you guys up here if I can. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's see if that works. There reason I'm doing this video is I want to answer some of the comments that were left in yesterday's video. Number one, I stated it clearly in the video, I'm not a comparison person. I don't make those type of videos. Um, my buddy Tony at Lawnfellas said you should really try the Toro, um, see what you think of it. So. I set up the demo with my dealer because they sell Toro, Xmark, Cub Cadet, and Skag. Okay? So, I wanted to give you guys... Sorry, man, that sounded good, didn't it? That was a Dodge. Well, it kind of sounds good. I think it needs a muffler. I wanted to give you guys a demo... And I wanted to compare apples to apples because I hear people on YouTube constantly saying you're comparing, you're not comparing apples to apples or oranges to oranges. Okay. So I got the 52 top of the line Toro and the 52 top of the line Skag. I lined them up together. I took a picture. A lot of you guys saw what I saw, okay? A lot of you. Not everybody, because let's face it, and I am this way too, and you probably won't hear this either because you didn't hear half of what I said yesterday. When I am a fan of something, I will defend it to the utmost. I set both mowers on four inches. It is not my responsibility to build the mower. It's not my responsibility to set the mower up. It is only my responsibility to cut my customer's yard with the best mower I can use. Now, a lot of people left some comments that they were defending one mower over the other. And you can defend any mower over any mower. I don't care because my mower cuts just fine. So I'm happy with it. One mower had a better cut. Now, all I can do as a guy demoing them is put them on the same setting. Okay, that's all I can do. I can't get down and level decks and sharpen blades and do all this and that. That's not what I was supposed to do. The blades were both sharpened the day before. Both mowers were set on four inches. Both mowers are the top of the line mowers from both companies. And I rode those mowers in a yard that I cut. Now, I can't help what is cut in Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Texas, North Dakota, South Dakota. I can't help that. I can only control what I have to cut here. Okay? And I cannot control how low or high their decks cut. I can only put both of them on one setting. I'm not going to put one on four inches and the other one at three and three quarter. That is not a true comparison. When people want apples to apples, that's what I gave them. Okay? Now, I'm going to get to the first comment. Johnny Moe. 
Johnny Moe said there was a four-year, 1,500-hour warranty on the Toro. I called Don. I'm not saying Johnny is wrong. Don said there is a five-year, 1,200-hour warranty. I have that in a text message. Now, maybe dealers give different warranties. I do not know. Don was wrong yesterday. I was wrong yesterday. So we're clarifying it. It is a five-year, 1,200-hour warranty. I might have said 1,200 miles. I don't know. But anyway, that's the Toro warranty that Columbus, Ohio, Buckeye Power Sales offers. It's not four years, 1,500. It's not three years, 1,500. It is five years, 1,200. And I cannot control if one mower cuts better in wet grass than the other. The manufacturers control that by making a product to put out on the market, okay? Those are the people that control that, not Doc. Doc got on both mowers. He split a field in half. Now, somebody asked me, why didn't you go over with the Toro what the Skag had cut. Well, I think I proved in that video the Skag cut off more than the Toro cut off. So why would I go over something that was cut? It wouldn't have done anything. It would have proved nothing. In fact, it would have probably been a bad optic. Um... Ray Ray. Ray Ray left a comment and said on on the Toro X Marks, they always cut, you always go lower on the number. And you know what? That may be correct. I'm not an X Mark owner. I'm not a Toro owner. So I don't know. I, I can honestly tell you, I trust Ray on that. Okay? I do trust Ray on that subject. Ray is a longtime Xmark user. He knows his stuff. And I believe what he says. So I wanted to get that out there. I don't know that I would want to. I, I guess when I when I buy a mower, I measure that stuff. And I make sure I bring it home set correctly. I don't ever touch it after that, guys. Honestly. Every mower I've ever owned, five years old, six years old, whatever it is, if I put it on four and the yard looks great, I'm cutting on four. And I, I, I would bet 90% of you guys do the same thing. Okay? If, if it looks good on three and a quarter, you're cutting it on two. If it looks good at three and a half, you're cutting it at three and a half. But... This video is just to say I didn't even want to demo a Toro, okay? I did that for my buddy Tony. I showed what the Toro does on my yard that I cut. I also showed what the V-Ride did on my yard that I cut. I put them together. You saw the optics of them. I've had a lot of people say in the comments, the Toro just doesn't look as beefy as the Skag. And the Skag looks beefier. I agree. I don't build the mowers. I just buy them. Okay? I'm, I thought there were things I could have done better in the video or things I couldn't have done in the video or maybe I should have done in the video but I pointed out the obvious okay that matters to me I don't want to be driving along and all of a sudden there's a branch off a tree and I go under the tree to cut under it and it sticks through my battery and I'm without a battery that's not a good day for Doc Okay, I, I, I never said Toro was not a good mower. When I compared the two together, I think it was 
pretty obvious which was the better mower and I'll leave it at that you decide but I thought it was very obvious which one was the better piece of equipment is it hard for me to be non-judgmental about equipment since I've been on Skag for so long probably I will tell you that probably I probably have ridden ever every mower there is to ride and out of all those mowers the skag just happens to be the one I feel well and I will say this and I've said it before if we had a bad boy dealer in Columbus I would probably be riding a bad boy I think that is one of the I think that and skag are the two best mowers I've ever ridden they feel solid I've said what I have to say about all the other mowers out there. It's in videos. I don't want to trash any company. Everybody makes a mower to their specs that they believe will sell and be a good mower for people to use. So it's not for me to bash some company because I don't like their equipment, okay? That's not what I'm doing anymore. I don't want anything to do with that, man. And everybody has the right to get on my channel and say how they feel about either mower that I did the demo on. Okay? You guys have every right. Because if you like something and you believe in it and it's making you money, I don't blame you. I just want you to know I compared apples to apples. I was not going to set one mower on a different setting than I didn't set the other one on. Had the shoe been on the other foot and I had to lower the skag down, people would have had a fit and said, see, the skag just doesn't do as well as this. I just know how folks are. But anyway, I wanted to raise those, you know, bring out that, and Johnny was much closer on um, the... Uh, warranty than we were i mean it is it's definitely up here at least the way they sell them at buckeye five years 1200 hours now like i say other people may have different deals with toro i don't know i don't know that i know skag has two years unlimited that's really all i care about because we are buying a skag v ride 252 so that's all that matters to me and uh no matter what mower you have, no matter what, if it makes you money and it is reliable, then it's the best mower you've ever had. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you leaving all those great comments. And uh, as always, Dr. Real, I was in the house, but now I'm going in my house. So... And don't forget to stay tuned next week to another Big H recipe of the week. I'm telling you. And I tried the taco bowl last night. It's delicious, guys. It's delicious. So we love you all. God bless you all. I hope you guys have a safe 4th of July. We probably will have a video tomorrow of some kind. But uh, Doc is getting way behind on hedge trimming jobs. So... I got to get moving on that stuff, but every time I get to it, it starts raining. And as you know, well, some of you know, you don't trim hedges in the pouring rain or in the rain. It doesn't come out right. I'm just saying, you can argue me, argue with me to the death, but I'm telling you, don't do it. Love y'all. See ya. Peace.